They had the world like premiere that? of their new film last night. Uh, and it would be an understatement to say that they brought down the house. There was a very enthusiastic, sold-out crowd at the Paramount Theater here in Austin, Texas. Please welcome director John Levine and the cast of Longshot, actors Seth Rogen, O'Shea Jackson Jr., June Diane Raphael, Ravi Patel, and Academy Award winner Charlize Theron. Ooh, wow. Oh, nice. nice. Wow. That was my time stoner of the year in 2008. <laughs> Thank you for being here, all of you. Thanks for, uh, for squeezing it in. Um, Seth, in the film, O'Shea's character sums up the story of Longshot by saying something like, it's pretty woman, but she's Richard Gere and you're Julia Roberts. Yeah, that's not actually in the movie, it's just in the commercial for the movie. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> it works so well for marketing. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what the film's about. Um, Charlize's character uh, plays Charlotte Field, who's the Secretary of State of the United States of America, and, and uh, the president in, tells her that uh, he's not going to run, and she convinces him to endorse her to be president, and she's looking to hire uh, speechwriters, and I am a guy who she used to babysit, who is now an unemployed journalist, who she hires to come on and help punch up her speeches, and... Um, and we kind of reconnect and rediscover why we became the people who we became. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Charlize, last night you mentioned uh, in the Q&A with John and Seth that you had concerns about your character initially. What were you looking for in this role? I, um, like I, I said this last night as well, I sincerely had always loved Seth's work. and the idea of doing something with him was really appealing to me. And I didn't really know what that looked like. So when the script, when he called us and showed us a script, it felt like something that could really work between the two of us. But I also realized I was making a movie with a genius and like this is what he does and it hits his wheelhouse and it's, he's very strong at this stuff and I'm not so much. And before we knew each other, I was a little apprehensive that I would, you know, be the girl standing mm -hmm. in the scene yeah. while well, you get to shine. <laughs> and I said, give me some you, of that you shine. You soon saw, like, I don't shine that much. I'm more than happy. I'm reflective. I'm not myself <laughs> shiny. I, I reflect off whoever is shining near me. But it, is, <laughs> it, it is a really incredible experience to be surrounded by great women, but also a lot of men on this movie who were so supportive of me as a woman. and and. I'm really grateful for that. I, and um, yeah, I really, I don't know what I did in a past life to deserve this, but I'm not, not going to jinx it. <laughs> Keep it going. John, you directed this movie, and um, romantic comedies can generally be apolitical and help audiences escape from reality. Why was it so important to tackle some very real life topics in Longshot? Well, I mean, a little bit of it was just the backdrop, right? Like, politicians are, we kind of looked at them as though it's like American royalty, you know? So it was like a great world to explore. Um, and then, and this, and this was a script that had existed for a very long time. In the era of politics that we're in right now, we kind of realized that we had to do a little more work to make it feel contemporary because what's going on right now is so intense and different. Um, so we kind of looked at that as an opportunity to explore issues in a non-provocative way, but just to like kind of address them, think about them, and not like try to divide people, but just try to like talk about where we're at right now. And it was a great, it ended up being like a great opportunity. It, w it was a little tricky at the beginning because the world is so different politically mm -hmm. than when this script was first written. Um, but it was an exciting opportunity. O'Shea, you're the best friend that I think every man wishes he had in this film. <laughs> uh, when you first read the script, what got you excited to jump on board? Well, I mean, they were like, hey, Shay, so there's this movie with uh, Seth Rogen and Charlize Theron, and I was like, oh, yeah, that That's sounds dope. Let's do that. <laughs> so, you know, it was cool. You read the script. You know, it was, it, you, you know, once, yes, exactly. <laughs> once I, you know, once I got my, my sides and everything, you know, you, you know how much pressure something like this puts on you, and it's, it's, it's great to be a part of one of these projects. Who doesn't like a, a Seth Rogen movie? And, you know, just like... <laughs> Don't go on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, it, it's just dope. Uh, some of my, you know, my inspiration for the role was actually my friend Pasha. I got a 
my homie Pasha, who's just down for whatever. He'd run <laughs> through a wall for you, and it's just the person you want on your side. So I just wanted to bring it to the film, and they gave me the, you know, the environment where I could do that, where I can, you know, put my put my little spin on things. Did you improv some of that? The aspects of you being an entrepreneur and some of the other aspects in the film? Oh yeah, yeah. That, that was that was another thing. They would constantly, you know, throw stuff at you to try and see where you take it and. That's, you know, for, for somebody who's trying to build up my, my career, that's something that I, I really liked being around. And I see how serious that this guy takes it. After every cut, you know, he's in, back in his head, you know, working on the next thing we got. So, uh, yeah, this was that's dope. That's interesting. He wasn't like that with me at all. Oh, no, no. He, he would be yeah. gone. Yeah. Be on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, do you have a friend in real life that's that tough but that sensitive at the Pache. same time? Yeah. yeah that's Pache. the guy? Pache. Like, Pache. Pache. He's just the entrepreneur, but he's also Pache. that, like, guy's going to give you the hug and help you out? That's, that's the homie. That's, that's, that's amazing. Uh, Charlize, uh, and this is for June and Ravi as well, uh, you guys spend a lot of time on camera together. Uh, and I wanted to know, uh, how was it... Like, what was it like working together? Did you improv a lot of the jokes and the dialogue between the three of you? Um, yeah, I, I love working with Jonathan and Seth because the environment was so playful and fun and you kind of got what was on the page first and then really had an opportunity to explore and just find what was between the lines and what was there and, um, you know, it was just so much fun stupid fun <laughs> it was just silly it was silly stuff uh, but I had a blast and you know so so much of that special stuff that's happening in the moment that's surprising uh, is in the movie mm -hmm. yeah. same I'm just only talking now because this is an interview <laughs> <laughs> I agree with her completely I mean it was, yeah. it was super loose it was fun now I'm just repeating shit that she just said <laughs> in different ways yeah. <laughs> Uh, Charlize, in this film, you play the Secretary of State, um, and I was wondering, after you've won it all, because you've won quite a few awards in, in your career, would you ever consider using this as a launching pad into... Oh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I would never. Listen, I, yeah, no, I could never do that to the people of America. <laughs> just, this would be a really unfair thing to do. <laughs> so did you spend any time with the biographies or histories of any secretaries of state in the past? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Jonathan and I read a couple of books, and mm -hmm. we read um, Madeleine Albright's book. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, primarily so I could tell you I read it in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she has an incredible you story. You just ruined it by saying that, dude. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah her, her book is pretty great. Yeah. She's, she's a fascinating person. Uh -huh. Really cool. Well, so uh, that was my takeaway from that book. Yeah, <laughs> this lady's super cool. She's done, she's done <laughs> anyway. a lot. Uh, she's like chill and cool. Yeah. <laughs> you, should be a, you should be a book critic. <laughs> so, <laughs> moving on from Madeline Albright, you know, a serious subject to another serious subject. I, I wanted to know about Seth. Charlize apparently has gotten you hooked on The Bachelor. Yeah, I've watched some of it. Yeah, yeah. and I, you're hooked as well. Well, no, I, you're more hooked on. Paradise. I was watching Bachelor in Paradise when yeah. that was uh, happening. Yeah. I haven't enjoyed this new. So you're uh, not. You're not. I've, I've dipped. Uh, it to go straight to Paradise. It was a weird over. thing. Yeah, yeah I, I went right into yeah. the fray. I think yeah. it's a good way to start, though. Actually, it was yeah. kind of yeah. fun. Yeah. It was fun, like kind of like trying to dig into the old dynamics. And yeah. all I was thinking is they all just look so sweaty and stinky. <laughs> <laughs> so much crying. Yeah, a lot uh, of crying. There's so much crying. So then you don't have any predictions for the finale that's coming up. Oh wow. No. I don't. Charlize, I'm sure, has a lot of thoughts on, on what is going to happen. Uh, right? Mm. <laughs> right? I'll take that as a no. We were actually with, uh, with one of the executives of the show yesterday, and he told a couple of people. He offered to ruin it. Ooh. Yeah, he offered. Yeah. yeah, and oh, I wow. ran really far wow. away really fast. Wow. And then I was scared that I would get drunk and just go, oh, guy, just tell me. No, yeah. yeah. And I didn't. I have not. So my prediction is that he's probably going to figure out a way. She's, okay, so. I'm ready. I think, Let's I break think, it down. okay, Let's I break think, it down. I'm ready. I think Casey might come back. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, no okay. And if she doesn't, um, mm. then I think he might pull his shit together and end up with a girl that makes him feel like home, Hannah. <laughs> wow. She makes him feel Hannah, like home. you got the endorsement. Do you I think they're going to get much... drunk and upset. Oh, okay. Just yeah. drunk and upset. Yeah. 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 Some, maybe some crying. I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah, maybe some crying. Yeah. 
Do you realize how much power you wield for an executive from the network to threaten you with the ending of that show? Right? Yeah. We're very Snitching. powerful. I should have just We're, tweeted it out. I yeah. have, oh, that would have been great if Ooh, I ruined the bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been great did promo for his launch. Did you choose not to hear it? Or did he not I did choose it not to hear it. Oh, yeah, it was yeah, too yeah. much responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't want that. I didn't want that. Yeah. You don't trust yourself. It's like having yeah. a nuclear suitcase. Yeah. Uh, well, so speaking of pop culture, uh, back to the film. One of the things I really enjoyed about the film, and I could tell the audience did as well, was all of the 90s references yeah. that yeah. you guys worked on. Was that a collaborative effort? Was it something already written to the script? How fun was that? I mean, it was written into the script a lot. I mean, I think we're all kind of children of that era. So for me, it was super fun just to, you know, pull 90210 references. The music was really, you know, a great, very fertile ground for, like, um, doing stuff with, in the movie and Boys to Men and all that stuff. It was, it was just great. It's not a good answer. So, no, it was a great answer. <laughs> But did, was there any on set, like, I think we should maybe try this We had, like, we have so many song. 90s alts that are not in the movie that, that, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything that we cut. And the extras that maybe after the, later on down the road for the DVD, the, the oh, Blu-ray. No, they're cut because they suck. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, but I'm trying to think of what, we, we would just, like, people would just pitch 90s. We had a whole Smash Mouth. We did have a big oh, Smash, Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth. Smash we didn't Mouth do didn't it. It wasn't. It, it wasn't. Yeah. Wasn't really working. But I might have let that one down. <laughs> yeah, I had you to, killed it. I had to <laughs> sing a Smash Mouth song, and it turns out I can't sing for shit. <laughs> but we have that footage. Yeah, we have that footage. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, you're right. It's right. You referenced that she couldn't sing. Yeah. Um, so speaking of the '90s, this film. Uh, and the experience of just experience with others was so fun. You blew the roof off of the premiere last night by having the actual boys to men perform during the Q&A. And this film is in contention for an audience award. Mm. Right. Mm. You cheated. Did you? Th that you seems unfair. I, yeah, do, that's, do, that's, that's I, do you I, think I, that you sealed the deal cool. with that's that? Cool. You think because everyone's walking out tearing their oh. little. Maybe I'm the not, other no. movies need to step up their yeah, game. Yeah, it's though. absolutely. Yeah, fair. exactly. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in that. We brought it. Y'all did. Yeah, we brought it. <laughs> Holla at your boy. Was that the yeah. studio? Or did Jordan you guys Peele have that have idea? Killed Lupita Nyong'o. That's the only way to compete with what we did. That was that was the studio. That was the studio's idea. Bravo. I mean, we were immediately down with it, but it was the studio idea. Lionsgate ain't playing. Lionsgate, respect. <laughs> yeah. not playing out here. Um, so you, how, how long had this, John, how long had this script been floating around? Because it was written by Dan Sterling, who yeah. wrote the interview, and Liz Hanna, who wrote the post. Yeah, oh. well, Liz, like, kind of rewrote it, and Dan wrote it many, many years ago, and it was, but the, I mean, it was very similar to, to what we ended up doing. Um, it was just for an era, it was written in the Obama era, mm -hmm. and the world has become very different, um, so... We needed to rewrite it. But it was a great combination, I thought, of, of political and, and silly. That was all there. Like, yeah. that was all there from the very beginning. And, and these characters were all there from the very beginning. Yeah. Liz, it, like, it wasn't, like, you know, divided up like that. Like, a lot of the humor comes from Liz and a lot of the politics came from Dan. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they both did, did a great job. Yeah. Uh, so, Seth, you and Charlie spent a lot of time in the film sort of rekindling your old friendship. Uh, and you have to get to know her in the film to, to, to work with her, and so you sit on a couch. Um, uh, was, had you known each other prior to the, the film, and did you have that chemistry, or did you start to become friends and buddies just uh, while, while shooting? Uh, well, I mean, we developed the script together for years, and uh -huh. we uh, both, uh, both produced the, the movie, yeah. so we knew each other. Or, yeah, we had been around each other quite mm -hmm. a bit by the time we were filming. Um, we rehearsed, you know, we... Um, you never really know. I mean, you hope that people think your chemistry is good with another person, <laughs> um, but like it's a hard thing to know th what exactly is going to happen and how people will perceive it. But yeah. as we were performing it, it seemed functional. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. her character, your character <laughs> asks her character a lot of personal questions to get yes. to know her. Do you, Seth, know a lot of personal question answers to Charlize. Yes, but not because he asks. I just... She just goes, <laughs> yeah. You overshare. <laughs> and I think a lot of times he's like, please don't share. No, I like all too of it. Much I, information. Yeah, I have a lot of info. <laughs> so let's, yeah. let's, let's overshare right now. Ooh. No, uh, nothing I will ever <laughs> tell you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, how long have you guys been working on, on this and producing it? A few years, three years, four years maybe, something like that. Yeah. yeah. And, and how did that idea come up for you guys to produce a film together? Seth approached us and said, um, we have this script and will you check it out? And do, if you guys find it interesting, let's do this together. And um, 
I got very excited. I, I didn't know how that would look, and so when I read the script, it was immediately very clear that this could be something that I think the two of us could pull off together. And then we just, we worked really hard. Yeah. Jonathan came on board, and we just, we worked really hard to try. I think the chemistry thing, like Seth said, it's one of those things you can't really codify. You can't, it's, you know, it is what it is. But when you work on material, and you really fine tune it and you fine tune characters that make sense and there's like a, a core and an and a anchor that holds them to something solid, then, then you're already winning. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, so before we go, um, you guys are all very exciting actors to watch. I'd love to know what's next uh, for all of you. This is it for me. This is it. <laughs> <You're done. laughs> yeah, I June didn't, stopping. I didn't know how to announce it, but you're <laughs> retired. Since you're retired. You're retiring. <laughs> from all you're of you. <laughs> yeah. You, I think it's a good way it. to stop. I think yeah. it's a good, it's, it's, right. a, it's a high and note. I'm, yeah. I'm excited about the golden years ahead. <laughs> 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 Okay, <laughs> Ravi. Uh, I, I'm doing a thing on CNN and a Netflix thing after this. There, <laughs> super specific. Yeah, yeah. really. Appreciate I'm doing it. a travel series on CNN. Oh, really? And I created a show that I'm also acting in. It'll be in India for Netflix. What What are the names so people That's can find them? Uh, the CNN thing doesn't have a name yet, and the uh, Call long shot. thing in on Netflix <laughs> is called Messy. There's okay. a lot of titles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you could go through all yeah. the titles. <laughs> yeah. 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 John. Um, I am uh, not going to do anything for a little bit. Take a break? Yeah, yeah, I really like this movie. I'm really proud of it. And so I'm going to chill and hang out with my son, who's pretty cool. And uh, Like Madeline Albright. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of live. I would. I just asked myself, what would Madeline do? <laughs> and and uh, she would just chill out. She, would cool. chill. <laughs> she was a pretty yeah. chill lady. <laughs> the book is super chill. That's the whole story. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, after uh, Long Shot comes out, May 3rd, uh, mm -hmm. May nice. 31st, nice. we got uh, Godzilla. That's why I've dubbed May O'Shea May. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Taking over. I decided to take over May. Taking over May. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, working on, uh, working on a project with my pops. Uh, okay. Uh, That's yeah. Cool. What's That's that? We don't know who your dad that. is. That's yeah, we don't know. It's on the low. Okay. Oh, it's, it's on the low. Is it a new Friday? Friday? New Friday movie? Hey, it's on the low. Oh. Is it a new Friday movie? I hope it's, it's on the low. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not denying it, it's a new Friday It's on the low. Right. I'll tell you who won The Bachelor if you tell me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got you. Okay. Um, I produced another movie that's playing here tomorrow night, actually, called Good Boys, uh, starring Jacob Tremblay, Tremblay mm, and wow. several other 12-year-olds. Um, <laughs> that poster's incredible, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it's, it's a, great movie. It's, it's a very it's really dirty R-rated comedy starring what? kids who are not allowed to see it. Um, and, yeah, um, and I have... I mean, we, there's two, yeah, I'll just focus on that. Good boys. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, I, we're on, uh, in post on, um, uh, we don't have a title yet, but the untitled uh, Jay Roach film about the two years uh, right before Roger Ailes was t taken down at Fox. Ah, wow. And it's a huge ensemble cast with a bunch of amazing women. Um, and uh, I think we just actually got a release date in May 20th or 22nd, something like that. And I'm about to start shooting a film for Netflix called uh, called The Old Guard. Okay. Yeah. Very exciting. You guys are all killing it, except for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's, she's <laughs> killed it. I, I just it's feel fun. like I've, I don't know how to beat this. So I, it's, like, it's a classic way killed. to have. It's um, I want to make sure we get to this lightning round. Um, is it? Well, for, is it F Modus? How are we going to say this moving forward? And, uh, once a woman. Fomotus. 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 We'll figure it out. Yeah. Fomotus. <laughs> okay. Fomotis. Here's the lightning round. This is it true or false? Oh. True or false? Whoa. Metal Albright is cool. Yeah. <laughs> chill. 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 <laughs> Senator A. B. Amy Klobuchar from Minnesota met her husband in a pool hall. That's obviously true. 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 Obviously true. true. It's very specific, so I would think it's true. Mm. True. Nice. Wow. Yeah, great. Okay. okay. Give me some heart. Okay. How folksy. <laughs> How folksy. What would um, it be if it were false? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Senator uh, Elizabeth Warren from Massachusetts proposed to her husband. She proposed to her husband while in a college classroom. Oh, okay. Massachusetts? Uh, false. 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 
close. Not this is Elizabeth Warren we're talking about. That's true. Oh, oh yeah. wow. It felt like it was time for a Okay, pulse. we're. I know. Okay, yeah, you, got, really you got one us. right, so oh, you all can keep the mugs. Thank you. Yes. We are yeah. unfortunately yeah. out of time. Thank you so much thank for being you. here. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you for you for watching. Long Shot is an incredibly funny film. I promise you, the crowd went crazy. I was crying, laughing. I encourage everyone who's watching to go check it out when it premieres on May 3rd. Uh, and thank you again for all being here. And uh, stay tuned to southbysouthwest.com slash live. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks, man.